Raising trout at a hatchery is a and multi-stage process, beginning with the arrival of trout eggs via overnight delivery. At Tonto Creek Fish Hatchery, the anticipation of the arrival of broodstock gives way to the unconventional yet efficient method of receiving all their eggs through a FedEx shipment. To the astonishment of many, fish eggs can be shipped, and upon their arrival, the careful handling begins. The initial steps involve rehydrating the eggs to ensure their viability. After a 10-minute rehydration period, a sample count is conducted to determine the number of eggs received. Disinfection against potential pathogens follows, ensuring the health of the eggs before they're transferred for incubation. The eggs are delicately sifted and measured in a time-consuming process. With attention, the eggs are divided evenly into containers and placed in incubation tubes. Proper circulation is critical during this stage to ensure adequate oxygenation without causing any dead spots, which could jeopardize the egg's development. Around 10 days later, the eggs hatch, giving way to sac fry, which are separated from the dead eggs in a process akin to panning for gold. The viable sac fry are then transferred to troughs where they absorb their yolk sacs before being introduced to feeding. As the young trout begin to feed, they're moved to larger fiberglass tanks for more space and better growth conditions. Over the next five to six months, they continue growing indoors until they're ready to be moved outdoors to raceways. Transferring the fingerlings to outdoor raceways marks another crucial phase in their growth process. Despite the chilly temperatures, the trout thrive outdoors, growing approximately an inch per month. As they grow, the raceways can become crowded, prompting the need for occasional splitting to provide more space for the fish. The dedication of hatchery staff becomes evident as they manage the growth of thousands of trout. At the Tonto Hatchery, over a million trout were raised in a single year, emphasizing the magnitude of effort and attention to detail required for successful fish rearing. The ultimate goal of raising these trout is to stock them into streams and lakes, ensuring the availability of these fish for anglers while maintaining the ecological balance of the water bodies. Trout, unable to naturally reproduce in lakes or ponds, heavily rely on hatcheries like Tonto Creek to sustain their population in Arizona waters. The process of raising trout is a year-round commitment, demanding consistent care and attention. The efforts of hatchery workers, often unnoticed, culminate in the joy of catching a vibrant rainbow trout for anglers. Their dedication ensures the continuation of a healthy trout population for both recreational fishing and the preservation of aquatic ecosystems. The primary focus of Nova Scotia's hatcheries remains the growth and propagation of the provincial fish, the brook trout. However, other species like brown trout, rainbow trout, and Atlantic salmon are also nurtured within these facilities, 
While brook trout eggs are cultivated on site, Atlantic salmon eggs are sourced from the wild. The hatcheries buzz with activity come late fall, when the brood stock is transferred indoors to initiate the spawning process. Through a gentle and harmless technique known as stripping, female trout or salmon eggs are delicately extracted by applying pressure to their sides and belly. Subsequently, male sperm is introduced to the eggs, initiating fertilization. This procedure yields an annual harvest of 5 million eggs. Fertilization occurs rapidly, almost instantaneously, upon the addition of water to the egg sperm mixture. Water hardening follows suit, with the fertilized eggs doubling in size within two hours under a continuous flow of water. Fragile in nature, these eggs necessitate delicate handling, requiring the use of a feather for movement and sorting. The subsequent phase involves washing the fertilized eggs before placing them in perforated trays submerged in highly oxygenated water for incubation. This stage, spanning from late November to early March, witnesses regular monitoring of each tray to eliminate dead eggs and prevent the spread of infections. Upon hatching in spring, the young trout and salmon are relocated to hatchery pools, where they continue their growth and development until they reach stocking size by fall, measuring between 13 to 15 centimeters in length. Inland Fisheries takes charge of distributing these fish, stocking over 400 lakes, rivers, and streams throughout Nova Scotia via tanker trucks carrying up to 12,000 fish per load. The stocking quantity varies based on local conditions, typically introducing between 50 and 100 fish per hectare. At Fraser's Mills Hatchery, the annual spectacle of speckled trout spawning is a testament to nature's precision and the tireless dedication of conservationists. As winter relinquishes its grasp, signaling the advent of spring, the water temperatures in the hatcheries maintained ponds begin their gradual ascent. This subtle shift in the environment acts as a beacon, beckoning the trout to commence their annual pilgrimage. The females, gravid with the promise of new life, gracefully navigate the waters, seeking the ideal location to deposit their precious cargo. Within the sanctuary of the hatchery's nurturing waters, these expectant mothers excavate small depressions, known as reds, in the gravelly substrate. With tender care, they deposit their eggs, a treasure trove of life soon to be guarded vigilantly. Meanwhile, the males, adorned in their spawning regalia, shimmering with vibrant colors, partake in an age-old dance. They vie for the attention of the females, competing to fertilize the awaiting eggs. Their dance, a ballet of instinct and determination, ensures the continuation of their species. The caretakers of Fraser's Mills Hatchery, stewards of this natural marvel, observe and safeguard this annual rite with reverence. They monitor water conditions, ensuring optimal temperatures and oxygen levels to sustain the delicate balance required for successful hatching. Their watchful eyes ensure that the hatchery remains a haven for the trout, a sanctuary where the circle of life continues unimpeded. As the days pass and the sun climbs higher in the sky, the hatchery brims with the anticipation of new life. The eggs, carefully tended by their vigilant mothers, begin to undergo the miraculous transformation from dormant potential to vibrant vitality. The hatchery teams with the energetic wriggles of newly hatched fry, each a testament to the success of this annual ritual. Throughout this process, the hatchery remains a bastion of education and conservation. Visitors, young and old, are welcome to witness this spectacle of nature fostering a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all life forms.